Yo, my name is Julian Melnick, and welcome back to the Console Gaming Channel. That's right, we are button mashers and thumbstick thrashers, and we're here to have a good time playing video games. Now, usually I'm talking about which tech you guys should get yourself into, which video game systems, which video games or services, but today I want to share with you what I'm carrying around at all times in my tech bag. So, this is a tech bag breakdown, and, uh... Well, let's get into it. First things first, what's the bag I use? Well, I use the Chrome Industries Cadet Bag. This is a messenger bag. It's smaller, it fits right across my back, and I really, really like it. It comes with two pouches and some straps around it that you can either strap stuff to or strap down to uh, make the bag a little bit thinner. Inside, it has a little ring for you to clip your keys if you wanna keep your keys inside, and that's pretty much it. There's one divider slot in the back so you can uh, divide flat documents, I guess, and it does fit an iPad if you have one. One, but it's a very very minimalistic bag and it's just big enough to fit what I want to fit in there and keep on me at all times and really really cool thing that it does is when you want to take it off you can either just pick it up and take it over your shoulder or you can press what Chrome is known for seat belt button and it unhooks the seat belt. So that's the bag. It's it's really, really cool. All right, let's get rid of that. Now, let's get into some of the details, some of the fun stuff that I keep in my bag. Uh, let's start with some of the non-tech things. I always will keep uh, my journal. I have a bullet journal. Uh, it is the Rhodia standard journal size. I don't know the exact specifications. All I know is it's a floppy journal. It's not a hardback. So I really like that, and I like their paper. Their paper is really nice to write on, and it doesn't bleed, and that's something that's huge. I was using other brands before and you can always see what's on the other side but this it doesn't bleed so I keep my Rodia on me and this is how I keep organized I don't use a digital planner I don't use a digital calendar I've tried so many different ways and this is the only thing that works writing things down is it for everybody no but for me that is how I do this so this is my way of keeping organized and my way of writing in it is uh, this little thing right here this is my pencil box and in here are eight very specific items that I always keep with me uh, I have a pen that my father gave me it's a great pen it's a gel pen so it writes really really well it's nice and smooth the ink looks great uh, and it's a joy to write with I have an eraser as well as some extra lead harder lead because I do like the look of a darker lead uh, and then I have the wonderful great paper mate felt tip pen just a classic you should always have that on you uh, and then we have a sharpie because everyone should have a sharpie then I have a pilot g2.38 I am a thin ballpoint kind of guy not a thick ballpoint and last but certainly not least my mechanical pencil which is very specific it's German made it is a roach ring 600 there's a bunch of different numbers and stuff but it's basically a drafting pencil and it is incredible and it works great and it feels so nice in hand because it's an all metal very heavy pencil and all these things will be linked below they're all affiliate links so I do make a little you know a few cents off of them and it helps the channel which helps great but also you don't have to get any of them now, let's get into the next thing, which is some of the tech. And the first thing we're gonna get into is the big boy. The main thing, the main fun, and that is my Nintendo Switch. I always have my Nintendo Switch with me because you never know when someone wants to play video games or when you got some time and you wanna play video games. And I've since switched my case. I used to have, or I still have it, the hide and drink wax canvas case, which I love, I think it's great. But now I've switched to this Tom Talk. It's uh, like a really cool textured top and it's hard. It is really, really nice and durable and you can keep it by itself. I don't, I throw it in my bag, it fits perfectly and it's minimalist. So the only, you can see some of it comes up it is only thick enough to house the switch and there's a little flap in there that you can uh, put your games in it's very very soft and with that the top of it has extra space for the joysticks and the buttons so you don't have to worry about compressing your controllers or your joy cons because those already have a lot of things that they have to deal with now with your switch there's always going to be some accessories you want to bring with your switch and one of the most important ones which I usually talk about and I've mentioned before is going to be an external battery because if you're out and about and you're playing video games for a while you might need to to charge it up so I have the anchor power core essential this thing is USB a to USB C which you need to get an external cable with that which I do have and uh, it does the job it has like 20,000 whatever it's it's thing can really charge it and it it's great it can either maintain a charge while you're using it or it charges it while you're not and you just throw it in your bag and just let it do its thing um, the cables I have with it is I do have a USB C to USB a this is by 8-bit dough because 
because 8-bit do makes great cables as well as the USB-C to USB-C cable you get from Genki when you purchase their, here we go, covert dock. And this covert dock comes with a little carrying case, which I keep it in, but the covert dock, this thing can charge your switch, it can power your switch, it can also be transformed into that dock so that if you're ever in a situation where you need to put this onto a television, someone challenges you, or you get called into a tournament or something, it's all right here. And this is great. It is a third-party dock, which there's always risks when you use a third-party dock, but I've been using this for a while, and Genki also has taken power management into consideration and to ensure that it is safe for your Nintendo Switch, and this thing does it all. So I keep the USB-C cable with me in case I need to use it, and as far as HDMI is concerned, chances are, if you're being asked to hook this to a TV, there's already an accessory plugged into that TV that has an HDMI cable, and so you're gonna be okay. If you're finding value in this video, hit that like button. If I have earned it, and only if I've earned it, feel free to subscribe. That means that you wanna watch more of my videos and if you don't wanna miss them and you wanna make sure you get them right away, you can hit that notification button. Don't feel obligated. That is your way of being a part of this community and just having fun with us. If you think there's someone else that likes these kind of things or likes these kind of videos, go ahead and share this. These are all ways you can help my channel grow and help us get bigger because that's what we wanna do. We want the console gamers to find each other and I'm hoping that this home is where we all will live. So let's continue on, let's get into more tech. So with my Nintendo Switch, I have my battery, I have my covert dock. Now, what if I wanna play with a controller? Well, I keep my 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro on me. Yes, this has four R button and L buttons or shoulder buttons, whatever you wanna call them. A great D-pad, two joysticks. This thing is my go-to controller that I keep on me because it is small, it fits in small places, and it's, it's great. This does come in second when it comes to my favorite controllers because my absolute favorite controller is the bigger, more robust version of this, the SN, or I guess they call it the Pro 2. Uh, it just came out and I love it because it has so many features. It just feels good in hand, but it's just too big. It's too big, so it doesn't fit in my bag. And this does, and this does a great job. I was using this long before the newer one came out. And so that is just, it just feels so great. So that allows me to play my games with a controller. And you know, the kickstand just doesn't do it for me. So I do keep the Genki uh, stand, the one that's all metal that we've talked about before on this channel, as well as their audio adapter for Bluetooth audio. Uh, because I am not that guy who plays video games that you can hear out loud. I am private about it. So I make sure that I don't bother the people around me. So I do have their audio adapter, the Bluetooth audio adapter, and I keep it in this case because it's just an easy way to manage it. And I know that it's not going to get damaged throwing it into my bag because that's what I do, just throw stuff into my bag. And with that audio adapter, I keep a pair of headphones. And the headphones I use aren't crazy expensive. In fact, I think they're like 20 bucks when I bought them. These are the Skull Candy Uproar. They're great. They're Bluetooth headphones. And the reason why I use these is because they're dedicated to my Switch and I don't want to deal with unpairing my AirPod Pros and trying to pair them to the Nintendo Switch with the Genki audio adapter. It works, it works great, but I just, it's too much of a hassle to go back and forth. These I can turn on, they will find the audio adapter as long as it's plugged in and we're playing video games and I'm hearing them and it sounds great. It sounds awesome. And I peeped it, I said it, my AirPods. I keep my AirPod Pros in my bag because this is pretty much the only way I use my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't usually put it up to my ear and chances are if I am talking on the phone, it's in my pocket or in my bag. So that is how I do that communicating with other people. So I just keep my AirPod Pros. I like them. They work great. They're not the best in the world, but when I was working at Apple, I got a discount. So I purchased them at a discount and I keep my iPhone on me because that's my only way of doing any sort of computing on the go because I don't have an iPad. I'm not a laptop user anymore. All I have is my insanely crazy iMac and that's the only computing power I need. So I just do whatever I need to do on my phone and since all of my organization stays on my journal, I'm set, I'm ready to go and that's it. That's pretty much all I keep in my bag. There are two little things here I forgot to mention and I'll just bring up right now, the Tombow pens. And that's pretty much, yeah, these are just if I wanna get kind of artsy fartsy inside of my bullet journal. So yeah guys, that's what I keep in my bag at all times and I keep that bag on me. I love it, it's small, it's easy peasy, ready to go. Sometimes I'll throw my wallet or my sunglasses in there but for the most part, those will stay either on my head or in my pocket. So that is it. 
if you guys got gear that you love that you think I might be able to upgrade something, change it out, let me know in the comments below. If this video was entertaining, let me know. If you liked it, as I said before, go ahead hit that like button or let me know in the comments, hey, this kind of stuff's kind of cool. I'd like to know if you use this or this or this. This is just my way of sharing with you guys that, hey, I actually use the gear I talk about. So yeah, that's it guys. That's all I have for you today. And you know what, you know what time it is. It's time to talk about something. It's time to talk, to talk about the number one thing we talked about. And, and I've said it before and I say it again and I'll say it every time, all the time. Say it with me on three, two, one. Happy gaming.